we have a set of three C's that could affect and improve your training. The first C is correctness. You've got to be able to do the technique correctly in order to do it effectively. Uh, fumbling around with incorrect instruction or incorrect practice isn't going to help you. Let me give you an example. Here's a defense I saw on a YouTube video, not from one of our dojos. Uh, a person is punching. This person does this. Foot is on the outside of the foot, pushing across here, flatten that. He can easily pop me in the face or stomach. I can't do anything to stop him. That's incorrect technique. Uh, correct technique. I'm here, my feet are positioned right up his center line. My shoulder is over here. He immediately tries to follow up with this. I can come back in with that. That's the correct technique. And so to practice incorrectly, uh, it's of no value. Do it right. The first C, correctness. Let's jump into the second component or the second C, and that is conditioning. And there's several aspects of conditioning. So we're conditioning our mind, we're conditioning our body, and we're conditioning our spirit to create success, not only on the mat, but in life also. So first and foremost, whenever I'm learning something, I've got to condition my mind to be able to do it. So I'm conditioning myself to respond in a, an effective, in an efficient way. And through that conditioning, if somebody had punched me normally, I may be just reactive. Rather than if I'm present and I'm conditioned as they punch me, I'll be able to react and be, respond and move to the correct space. Another aspect is conditioning our body, especially in martial arts. There may be some, be some movements that I've got to condition my body to do so that I can create success. And that's going to take repetition. So any type of conditioning is going to take repetition, repetition of seeing it over and over again for me to process it, being able to move my body over and over again correctly to be able to demonstrate it or bring it to life. And then the third component is the spirit. Through all of this conditioning, I'm conditioning my spirit to win. I'm putting myself in these situations to grow through repetition and mindfulness. The third C is connection, which is just a way to say your work with somebody. His body's gonna respond in a certain way to things that I do, and I've gotta be ready for that. Uh, it's not an automaton or a robot where I just do a technique. I've got to fit in. Let me give you an example. Uh, someone grabs a hold, I know how to do a wrist lock. I grab a hold, I... I'm totally oblivious to his position. I'm going against his strength. I'm grabbing, I... Oh. Yeah off balance. So there, my connection with him is to see this and realize if I just move a little bit, he'll have to adapt to me. So that's our connection, where we're working with somebody and learning how to apply correctly through conditioned body and conditioned mind, conditioned spirit, uh, and connected to the overall winning spirit, winning technique, get home happy and healthy.